Hey, how's it going, guys? So, earlier on Reddit, I posted a clip of me just doing a clutch. Now, one of the top comments and most frequent comments I got were about the graphics. Now, the graphics aren't in the normal game, and I can't just tell you my settings to get the exact same picture. What I used was called a reshade. A DLL file is injected into your game files, and basically just, it's an overlay. Now, DLL files are usually associated with cheats. This has been, I'll, I'll put it up on the screen right now. This has been proven to be 100% legit. You're allowed to use it. The creator says so. There it is right there. Now, before I go ahead and show you how to do this, if you want to know how to do it and if you should do it, I'm going to put some stills up on the screen real quick to show you what the difference is between before and after. And there's no performance hit at all depending on which settings you use. The settings I'm using in the video and I'm going to show you how to set up are my personal ones. Everybody has different personal preferences so you can mess around with it and see what works for you. Now to get started you're going to go to the description below and find the link for a program called Reshade. Now Reshade is a branch off of SweetFX it's a lot easier to install and manage. So you want to open it up. Just hit select game. Now if your Steam and your Steam library is on your C drive, you want to hit local disk, program files, go down to Steam, Steam apps, common, and it will be in this folder. Mine is on the D drive, so I'm going to go to Steam, Steam Library, Steam Apps, Common, and then find PUBG. Hit TSL Game, Binaries, Win64, and you want to hit this file right here, TSL Game. Hit Open. Now, if you have the chance, try to install DirectX 3D first. See if that works. If that doesn't work and it makes your game crash on startup, Delete the files that it installed into that same directory, which will be DX and it will start with a D. Just delete those. The, the folder says shaders and try DirectX 9 or OpenGL. Now, the difference between these ones are the, the Direct 3D 10 allows you to use an overlay alongside the reshade. So you're allowed to use Steam Overlay if you have that enabled. DirectX 9 and OpenGL does not allow you to do that. So once you have that selected, I have to do this one. Hit yes. If you're experienced with reshaders, click the ones you want and the ones you don't. But since I like to mess around a little bit and it doesn't impact your performance at all, I'm just gonna hit okay and install them all. It's that easy, done. Now we're gonna be changing the FOV. I have no idea how to change the actual number FOV but this one does it for me and it, it works fine for me so I'm just going to show you how to do it if you don't like it you can take it off and wait for somebody else to show you how to do it better so first we're going to go to your app data folder you want to go to your C drive your users you and then you want to go up here and you want to hit view and then check the hidden items box it's going to pull up this file called this folder right here called app data you click it you click local you go down here to TSL game, saved, config, Windows no editor, and engine. You can use notepad or you can use notepad plus plus or whatever you got. This is the line of code you want to paste into your file to make sure that your FOV is just the best. Doesn't matter where you paste it, just make sure that there's a space in between all that stuff. You can also add this if you want. I'll put that in the description too. Just uh, turns off mouse smoothing. Once you've installed Reshade and changed your FOV, hop into your main game. It's going to load all the shaders one time only. And once you're in game, you hit Shift F2, hit Continue. You want to create a preset. Uh, just name whatever you want hit continue and continue now this box up here is just all your effects now this box down here is all the additional tweaks that just make this 
just a lot better than most of the other reshaders out there. Now, the ones I use is Adaptive Sharpen, and then scroll down to the T's, Technicolor 2. Now, you might see that's a little bit too bright for me. I don't know about you, but that's it's a little bit too much. So, for the Adaptive Sharpen, I think it's a little bit too sharp. So, I'm going to turn that down to 0 0.50, 0 0.5. And then scroll down to Technicolor. Change that to 0 0.5. And then the saturation up to 0 0.1. 1.1. 1 .1, as high as, as close as you can get it. Now that's exactly what I use every single game. I think it looks perfect. It makes the game a lot better. As you saw in the before and after pictures. Before you go, here's my settings. I run everything on high except for anti-aliasing, which I put on ultra, shadows on low, and foliage on low, because foliage just makes it perform worse. And shadows, I don't think they're necessary. If you have a better computer than me, you probably can put it up to uh, medium, if that suits you. I hope everything installed correctly, and if it didn't, don't be afraid to post in the comments below. And if you're feeling nice, give me a like. This is Kite signing off. Thank you very much.